the head of a department at the Central Aerohydrodynamic Institute, Mikhail Zhilonkin, presented his research at the International Conference on Computational Mechanics and Modern Applied Software Systems in Alushta in September 2025. His presentation was recognized as the best scientific report at the event. One of the main challenges in modern aviation safety is ensuring that pilots are fully aware when approaching stall conditions. Jalonkin's research offered a new perspective on how pilots can be informed more accurately and earlier about such situations. TSAGI's new approach marks a major step forward compared to existing stall alert systems. It shifts from simple threshold-based warnings to a more advanced, data-driven, and predictive method designed to help pilots react before danger occurs. To understand this innovation, it helps to look at how the current stall warning methods work. Modern aircraft, whether military or commercial, use a mix of tactile, visual, and audible cues to warn pilots of an impending stall. These systems activate when the aircraft approaches critical flight limits, such as low velocity or high angle of attack. Typical warnings include flashing cockpit lights, audible alarms, or a stick shaker that vibrates the control column to simulate aerodynamic buffet. In most commercial aircraft, stall warning systems rely on angle of attack sensors that measure airflow over the fuselage. When airflow separation is detected, indicating a loss of lift, alarms are triggered. Fighter aircraft, on the other hand, integrate these warnings with flight control computers that automatically prevent the aircraft from exceeding safe aerodynamic limits. These traditional systems have saved countless lives. However, their main drawback is that they react only after specific thresholds are crossed. They do not interpret the gradual and complex aerodynamic changes that precede a stall. This can lead to delayed alerts or false warnings, especially during turbulence, asymmetric thrust, or unusual flight attitudes. The limitation lies in relying on fixed parameters. A stall may not happen abruptly. It can develop gradually from an aerodynamic imbalance. Systems based solely on speed or angle of attack cannot fully capture the dynamics of changing flight conditions. They ignore crucial variables such as load factor, center of gravity, and angular acceleration, all of which influence stability. In complex orientations, such as steep climbs, dives, or sharp bank angles, simple sensors may fail to interpret aerodynamic behavior correctly. This is especially dangerous in military or experimental flight, where extreme maneuvers are frequent. Pilots can face excessive false alarms or a lack of timely warnings in real emergencies. Jalonkin's research introduces a data-based method that aims to change this completely. His study, titled Information Support for the Pilot in Complex Spatial Positions, proposes analyzing large sets of flight data to predict a stall before critical thresholds are reached. Instead of depending on isolated parameters, the new system interprets multiple aerodynamic indicators together. The method combines data from accelerometers, pressure sensors, angular velocity detectors, and readings of the aircraft's center of mass. By integrating this information, the system can recognize early trends that suggest a potential stall. It processes the data into what T calls information frames, which are displayed on standard cockpit instruments. These information frames give pilots a clear, dynamic visualization of the aircraft's aerodynamic state. This allows corrective action long before a dangerous stall develops. The idea is to transform the cockpit into a real-time decision support system, enhancing pilot awareness without overwhelming them. For practical use, this technology must integrate seamlessly with existing avionics and flight control systems. Test pilots and airline engineers are now evaluating it both in simulators and real flights. These trials help refine the logic and display design so that pilots can interpret the information intuitively under high workload conditions. One of the major challenges in implementation is ensuring that the predictive algorithms interact correctly with fly-by-wire and autopilot systems. 
Automated flight controls must interpret pilot inputs and react accordingly without conflict. The goal is to give pilots reliable, fast, and meaningful data, not to override their decisions. Through continuous testing, these AGI researchers are improving the algorithms to reduce nuisance alarms while maintaining high sensitivity to actual stall risks. Early results show a substantial improvement in accuracy, especially in non-standard flight conditions. This multi-parameter analysis marks a significant advance over older, threshold-based warning systems. The integration of artificial intelligence and neural networks is becoming a defining trend in global aviation research. These technologies excel at identifying complex patterns in vast datasets, making them ideal for recognizing aerodynamic instability before it becomes dangerous. TSAGI is developing AI-driven modules that continuously learn from flight data, improving their ability to predict and prevent unsafe conditions. Unlike traditional algorithms, AI-based systems can adapt to each aircraft's unique behavior. They also consider shifting payloads, wind shear, icing, and other external factors that influence stability. This adaptability allows them to remain accurate under changing operational conditions. By combining real-time data analysis with machine learning, future onboard systems will not only alert pilots to danger, but also assist in maintaining stable flight. They may even recommend corrective actions in real time. This transition from reactive warnings to proactive guidance reflects a fundamental shift in aviation safety philosophy. The implications of TAGI's research extend far beyond stall prevention. By modeling the full aerodynamic behavior of an aircraft in three dimensions, similar systems could help detect loss of control, spatial disorientation, or excessive structural loads. Predictive modeling enhances a pilot's ability to recover from unexpected situations quickly and confidently. In the future, this same technology could link with ground-based monitoring systems. Air traffic control centers might track an aircraft's aerodynamic condition in real time, providing another layer of safety for both pilots and passengers. Before being used in active fleets, TI's algorithms undergo extensive validation. Advanced simulators recreate complex aerodynamic situations to test how both pilots and systems respond. Later, Real flight trials with professional test pilots verify the system's reliability in practical conditions. Pilot feedback is central to this process. The research team fine-tunes the color schemes, message clarity, and alert tones to ensure warnings are immediately understood. The aim is to support pilots under stress rather than distract them with unnecessary information. The Alushta Conference in 2025 became an important platform for exchanging insights among engineers, scientists, and aviation experts. Discussions emphasize the growing role of data modeling, digital simulation, and AI integration in improving flight safety. TESAG's contribution showed how aerodynamic science and data analytics can merge to create smarter, safer aircraft. As predictive algorithms evolve, pilots may receive not just alerts, but also guidance on precise recovery maneuvers. This could dramatically reduce loss of control accidents, one of the leading causes of fatal crashes in both commercial and general aviation. In conclusion, the award-winning work of Mikhail Zhelankin marks a major step forward in pilot information systems. By moving from fixed threshold stall warnings to intelligent data-based analysis, SAGE is defining a new era in flight safety. This approach combines artificial intelligence, adaptive visualization, and large-scale data processing to create a partnership between human judgment and machine intelligence. As this technology matures, the skies of tomorrow will become not only safer, but more efficient for all who fly. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Also, please take our channel membership, which is very affordable, to encourage us.